Scientists create ultra-tough antibiotic to fight superbugs. U.S. scientists have modified a 60-year-old drug to create an ultra-tough antibiotic. Researchers hope this new antibiotic will be able to fight bacteria that are resistant to drugs currently available on the market. Vancomycin-resistant enterococci, otherwise known as VRE, is commonly found in hospitals. It can cause dangerous infections and is resistant to the antibiotic vancomycin. Scientists have modified the vancomycin drug to overcome this resistance and added two ways to kill the bacteria. The modified vancomycin is reportedly a thousandfold more powerful than before and has been able to kill the VRE bacteria in lab tests. Although the test results seem promising, UK experts warn that the modified drug is not effective against all types of drug-resistant bacteria. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Antibiotic resistance is a growing threat to public health. Two deaths at a hospital in Los Angeles, California are linked to the spread of deadly antibiotic resistant bacteria. Almost 200 patients at LA's Ronald Reagan Medical Center may have been exposed to the deadly bacteria Carpe Penum resistant Enterobacteriaceae, or CRE. Patients at UCLA's Ronald Reagan Medical Center may have been exposed to CRE during their endoscopy procedure. The hospital says that two of their fiber optic endoscope tubes were contaminated despite the hospital's rigorous sterilization procedure. CRE enters the bloodstream where it usually causes infections there, as well as in the lungs and in the bladder. Antibiotics have no impact on the infections. The bacteria is thought to have contributed to the deaths of two of the seven patients at the hospital who were infected with CRE. The bacteria impacts people whose immune systems are already weak and is linked to the approximately 23,000 deaths a year. More reported cases of the deadly superbug. Two more hospitals have reported that some of their patients were infected by the Carbapenum resistant Enterobacteriaceae, also known as the CRE superbug. The Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center reported that 179 patients may have been exposed to CRE. Seven patients were infected, contributing to two of their deaths. Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles reported Thursday that 67 of their patients were potentially exposed to the deadly bacteria with four confirmed infections. Hartford Hospital reported 180 patients may have been exposed and at least five patients were infected. CNN reported that the $30,000 duendoscope used on the infected patients was often cleaned with a $1 toothbrush. The scope, made by Olympus Corp, has a hard-to-clean elevator channel, which may have carried the germs into patients' bodies. Once inside the body, the antibiotic-resistant bacteria contaminate the bacteria in the gallbladder or pancreas. Antibiotics usually work by rupturing the cell walls of uncontaminated bacteria, but bacteria with antibiotic-resistant genes are able to defend themselves by throwing antibiotics out of the cell, by degrading the antibiotic, or by altering the antibiotic. Superbug infections affect the host's lungs or bladder and may cause death in up to 50% of cases, according to the CDC. Medieval remedy could be used to treat hospital superbug MRSA. UK scientists recently recreated a thousand-year-old Anglo-Saxon remedy and successfully used it to kill the hospital superbug MRSA. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus auroris, otherwise known as superbug MRSA, is a bacteria that is resistant to many antibiotics. MRSA can cause skin infections and more severe problems, such as bloodstream infections and pneumonia in hospital or nursing home patients. Scientists from the University of Nottingham recently used a thousand-year-old remedy for eye infections to tackle MRSA. The remedy included garlic, leek, English wine, and cow bile, while brass vessels were replaced with brass sheets as they were easier to sterilize. The potion self-sterilized and killed all the bacteria contained in the leek and garlic soil after nine days. It was then tested on scrapes of mice skin infected with MRSA. The results showed it killed 90% of the bacteria. The potion is reportedly as effective as vancosamine, the antibiotic currently used to kill MRSA. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News.
Researchers develop new ways to fight superbugs. Drug-resistant superbugs have rendered many antibiotics ineffective. But now there's hope. Currently, the only treatment for bacterial infections is through the use of antibiotics, which, after passing through bacterial cellular walls, kill bacteria. However, bacteria over time can mutate to protect themselves, commonly through developing an efflex pump, which expels antimicrobial polymers. Researchers at UT Southwestern Medical Center in Texas have discovered a synthetic compound that blocks FX pumps, making superbugs once again vulnerable. And researchers at the University of Melbourne in Australia have developed a star-shaped peptide polymer which is non-toxic. This polymer can fight bacteria in multiple ways, including ripping apart the bacterial cellular wall, making it difficult for superbugs to become resistant. Both methods still need to be refined and both research teams are still working toward human trials.